Microsoft Loop is finally here, and I wanted to dive into 10 features that are gonna be available in Loop from release, and also talk a little bit about how they play into the Microsoft Loop ecosystem. Welcome, my name is Francesco, excited to dive into Loop. If you're in the hunt for a productivity tool, jump over to Tool Finder, we'll help you find the perfect gem for you, I'm very sure. Microsoft Loop is now generally, generally available, which means it's available to everyone in the world. Now, Microsoft Loop actually launched in November 2021, so two years ago, just over two years ago now. Um, so it's been out technically in the wild for some time, uh, but it's now generally available, which means those with business, enterprise, commercial, or consumer accounts will be available to get access. And I wanted to dive into 10 of the features in Loop that are really appealing and some and elements that they've enhanced with AI. So the first of those is collaborative notes in Copilot. So if you're using Microsoft Teams and you collaborate on an agenda, well, first off, you can use a Loop component for the agenda, which means that it will be available in all the places that you put the Loop component. If you don't know what Microsoft Loop is, it's very simply a multiplayer flexible canvas with little components that can be shared across the Microsoft 365 ecosystem. Well, very coolly, once you're producing an agenda, you can also ask it questions using the Copilot function. So for example, if lovely Beth mentions something fantastic during the agenda, you can naturally enhance it using Copilot and extract some of the follow-up tasks that are part of it. So AI Copilot is really getting involved with the loop components and making them much more interactive. Number two is the way that Loop workspaces are being accessed. You can actually do them much more succinctly in Microsoft Teams, meaning when you're collaborating on something, you can quickly get access to it and start building a workspace. And if you've already got a workspace or a template that you've used in the past, you can even use the Copilot to reuse pages, taking some context from other uh, different uh, prompts as well. So for example, if you're like, I want this page, but change all the information relevant to this, then you can do that. The third feature that looked really interesting was that they've uh, made the whiteboards much better in Microsoft Loop, meaning you can use the collaborative loop components to use the Microsoft whiteboard in any place that you uh, want to use it. And what's great about that is it will live inside of the workspace that you are in. Number four is the Jira and Trello components. You can now um, be able to bring them in, meaning you can have a bit better task consolidation with your Microsoft Loop account, especially if your team don't use the same app or don't use the same experience to you. Next up, a small quality of life improvement, but table of contents is now available and updated in real time for all of the different Loop pages that you create. You can also update and invite team members to your Microsoft Loop pages as well, which is much smoother than it previously was. Notifications are also getting better in mobile, meaning you can interact with things and be able to uh, react to things so that your team has information on the go at whether they're doing the right thing. Now, eight, nine, 10 are very interesting ones to me. You can do summarization of pages and workspaces, meaning if you've got a workspace, it'll scan through that workspace and give you the, I guess, summarization of the knowledge across that workspace so that you can see that at a glance. And summarization of pages can be pinned to the top, which means it's great for finding out what that page is at a glance. Number nine is the new recaps. Now, this is a feature that actually came out a few weeks ago, but to be honest, new recaps is actually probably one of my favorite features. Now, if you've ever used function like revision history in a like Notion area or even just another application, think of like all of those changes that you've made. Well, basically what it does is it gives you them as a recap and you can tag people to what the progress is. So that's really fantastic for those who are making loads of changes but don't want to summarize all of them. Well, basically, this is what that recap function is going to do. And finally, a boost of interactions means that you can actually just make uh, love hearts come up on the page, for celebrations come up on the page, and I'm guessing that is really tailored towards the hybrid and remote, remote work users that want to be able to use this to um, make, their, make their team feel more special in a remote 
based situation. So Microsoft Loop has tons of new stuff. It's very interesting to see how they're evolving. They're sort of becoming the glue between all of the Microsoft 365 apps that you know and love. So let's see how you and your team are gonna use it. Hopefully soon we can get somebody who is using Microsoft Loop every single day, who's willing to share it uh, on the channel to dive into it in a bit more detail. But a big thank you. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you're in the hunt for any productivity tool, including Microsoft Loop, then you can jump over to Tool Finder to dig a little bit deeper. So thank you very much. And I'll talk to you all very soon. Congratulations to Microsoft for pushing this one out.